Garrett Johnson here with Adam Scott. And Adam, when you think about major championships, how do you look on the challenge of them now that you're a veteran, but you've also been through a lot of battles there? Yeah, I think that they're really demanding. And, you know, you, you know you need to kind of get your game in good shape. And, and that's easy to say, but... Like Jade A over there, right? <laughs> he knows how to do it, you know. He knows how to play in the big tournaments. But it's easy easy to kind of think about it, but it's hard to execute because we don't see so many guys winning majors all the time. You know, there are a few, but uh, uh, you've really somehow got to get yourself in a, in a place where you're truly confident, I think, to be able to know you're going to be able to perform. And then at a place that, like Augusta National, what tends to be the key to performing well there? Well, like most majors, these great golf courses challenge every part of your game. Um, you know, there's no doubt putting plays a big part in all of this. You know, whether you're playing good or not, the putting can keep you in there or it can, or it can kind of separate you a little bit if you are playing well. But really, it's, it's more than that at the majors. You need to have everything operating at a pretty high level because mistakes are so costly. You know, a bogey, double bogey or triple bogey, it's hard, it's hard to recover from. You know, birdies are hard to come by sometimes when you're not on your game and the momentum's not on your side. So you really need to be on top of stuff and try and get momentum on your side early in the week. Mm. Well, we look at ahead in the schedule, Troon, Pinehurst, any thoughts on, on those courses in general with your experience in terms of getting... Uh, familiarity with them well they're great golf courses and you know obviously the links is different than what we play most of the time and Pinehurst has some of those features as well I mean there are options around that golf course you can play it a little bit differently than the most weeks I think hopefully for me having played a lot of different kind of golf over the years uh, some experience will help me get it around and have a slight advantage over some of these young stars when you mentioned playing different kinds of golf over the years, I remember in 2000 you turned pro. We mentioned, we talked about this earlier. You played so many different courses, right, from Montreux to uh, <laughs> the Open Championship qualifying. You're all over the world. Mm -hmm. What would you tell your rookie self, Adam Scott, in 2000? What advice would you impart on, on him? Um, it's, a, it's a hard thing to, to answer, really. I think, I mean, I look back at that rookie, Adam Scott, and, you know, I think... He did really good, actually. You know, play, played a lot of golf. I took the opportunities where I could. I didn't make the most of all of them, but I did make the most of getting my European Tour card out of and not going to Q School, which is a nice little uh, bonus to not have that stress. Right. And, uh, you know, at, at some point I'd probably have some advice for the young Adam Scott, but, you know, times are different today than they were back then, so I don't know how relevant it would have been. Well, now in your 40s now, what, what does success look like going forward here in, in, the, in the short term? Yeah, I think I'd like to kind of find myself in contention regularly, and I think my results are showing that I'm getting close to that kind of level of golf. Obviously, success for me at this point is getting a few more wins before, uh, before I'm not able to be out here anymore. Uh, and I think I've got it in me. You know, the desire is still strong, and... From what I've seen so far this year, I'm really encouraged with the way I'm playing. Yeah, last thought. Um, just overall, like, is, is there a part of your game that could imp take a little more improvement at the moment that you're really kind of pinpointing um, as you go forward in this campaign? Starting, starting the year, it was my iron play, but that's really falling into place. I mean, uh, the stats are showing that, and that was the glaring weakness from last year. So I'm, I'm pleased, and that's why my results have been consistently better, and hopefully it's only on the improve from here. Well, Adam Scott, appreciate your time and good luck the rest of the way this okay. year. Thanks, mate. Cheers.